By now we know that Compton police were all over the MGM Grand that night and that we also know because of the El Rey Theater and because of the hundred or so LAPD officers that worked on and off for Death Row Records that there were police working security that night. There were 65 people that were on the security records and then of course there's always those security people that are off book that are not going to show up anywhere that are working because these were smart security people. They had multiple layers of security at all of their events, including the Anthony Bell incident, where, where we know that they had radios that were intercepting police transmissions, and they knew when the police were on the way so that they could prepare the crime scene and they could, they could obfuscate and derail an investigation. So we also know that the Compton Police Department had worked before, previously, at another fight night at the MGM Grand Hotel. We have a source that places them there, and when that source came out, he saw all the Compton Police work in security there, and he was shushed. They told him, hey, don't say nothing. And so, here we are at the MGM on fight night, and we have lots of cops working for death row records. If they had wanted Tupac Shakur to live, they, he would have lived. They had every ability to prevent it, and they also had every ability to cause the death of Tupac Shakur. And one more thing on the comp front, the wife of Suge Knight, who owns death row records, who is on the paper, he is the sole shareholder at that point of Death Row Records, has a boyfriend named Kevin Gaines. Kevin Gaines is an LAPD cop who is on special assignment in Las Vegas. So the wife of Suge Knight, who is the sole shareholder of Death Row Records, has a boyfriend that's in Las Vegas from two days before the shooting until two days after Tupac dies and he's on special assignment for LAPD.